Last time I visited this city, it was such a refreshing experience to see how peaceful and green it is. Most of you loved the video and even asked to see more. I got several comments saying I didn't show all the parts of the city. So this time I visited again. I am back again in Ibado and this time around it's going to be even more explosive. I was just mind blown by so many hidden beautiful experiences and lifestyles I totally missed in the first video. First up, we rode horses like cowboys and I learned more about the game of polo. We've we'll seen these horses in all their glory, their strength, their agility. We'll see how well they've been trained. After a lengthy one-on-one -on -one session with one of Nigeria's best golfers, I played some golf and became a pro. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> I now want to be a golfer. <laughs> That's a good one. I visited an incredible art venue and was astounded by the value of the artwork. What's your most expensive piece here? Uh, the most expensive piece that I've seen is about 45. 45 million, do you have it here? It's now on display presently. I also experienced thrilling water activities. Wow, I had so much fun. I mean, similar experience to what I've actually experienced in Lagos. And enjoy the vibrant nightlife with some fire-breathing humans. The city has some incredible clubs where the wealthy come to network and I interacted with some of the leaders. There's a lot of networking going on here. We have judges, we have lawyers, we have doctors. Right now, the governor is a member, the speaker is a member. So many commissioners are members here. We have Nigeria number two in tennis, is a member. And even captains of industries. If you want good networking, you will get it here. I simply can't believe this city has so much to give. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, because this is going to be one wild ride. Let's dive right in. But first, let's ride some horses. Welcome to the Ibadan Polo Club, one of the oldest and most prestigious polo clubs in Nigeria. Founded in the early 1900s, this club has a rich history of promoting polo and equestrian sports. In preparation for the tournament happening tomorrow, there's a lot of activities currently happening today. Everyone is hyped, ready to explore the possibilities, the thrilling activities happening here this week. Look, people from all over the world are coming to witness the interesting sport, polo. Of course, you know the polo is a sport for kings and right here, we're witnessing the elite, the 1% of the 1%. We will be having lots of elite individuals from all over the country and some people from outside the country. They will be present here for the tournament. It's going to be a phenomenal activity. Polo isn't just a game here. It's a lifestyle. Members come to network, relax, and ride horses imported from around the world. Polo is a sport that relies heavily on horses. They are trained and bred for the game of polo, now usually called polo ponies. We are here in the stable of the polo club, the Ibado Polo Club. We have hundreds and hundreds of horses right here. Look, we're going to experience something absolutely thrilling today. We'll be seeing these horses in all their glory, their strength, their agility. We'll see how well they've been trained. The Sudanese horses, we have those ones um, predominantly here. The Argentine pony, the thoroughbred, the Creole, all of them will be right here. We've seen all their strength, their legs, how fast they could go. Riding these magnificent creatures while enjoying the lush green fields is an experience you won't forget. Polo here is so much fun and a great way to meet influential people. The Ibado Polo Club is currently hosting the 2024 Ibado International Polo Tournament. This annual event held at the Ibado Polo Grounds in LA is one of the most anticipated polo events in Nigeria, attracting teams and players from within Nigeria and outside. 
It's such an interesting game. I am having so much fun and I can say that after watching this, I will definitely go become a member of the Polo Club either in Ibado or in Lagos. Min, take a look. We also have women competing with the men. Later in this video, you will see some stunning real estate in this tranquil city. 200 million naira for a plot of yes. land. Even like imagine, like I said, all land in Kola Koshula have already been sold. From impressive mansions to unique architectural designs. Aha, so this is really this is a four bedroom duplex with a okay. penthouse. Yes, uh, I would want that job. It is going for just 200 million naira. 200 million of what, what size of land is this? Uh, 450 square meter. 450 square meter. This 450 square meters I'm seeing are kind of bigger than what I see in Lagos. <laughs> These properties are remarkable. Be sure to watch until the end to have an exclusive look at the city's most opulent residences. Next up, we headed to an amazing art gallery, showcasing incredible African pieces. I heard about a gallery and that is the Tunde Odilade Art Gallery and I'm here to see it. It's a beautiful space, I've seen it online and now I want to see it in real life, so come along with me. From traditional sculptures to contemporary paintings, the art here tells the story of Africa's rich cultural heritage. Okay, okay, wow. Hi, good afternoon. Very well, thank you. And you? I'm confident, and you are? Olaide Moyet. Moyet. Yes. So where's that name gotten from? Are you Niger purely Nigerian or you're uh, half caste? Oh, uh, no, I'm not half caste. Um, I'm Nigerian, but my husband is French. Oh, oh, nice. So you speak French? Yes, I speak French fluently. Come on. Allez-vous, France? Oui, je parle. Really? I'm actually taking a course in French and hopefully, you know, for the next um, three, six months, hopefully when next I come here, I will be, you know, communicating in French. I hope so. <laughs> Great. Tell me about this place. This is Tundi Odunade Art Gallery. It's also a Pan-Africanist artist market. Mm -hmm. So we have over 80 artists in oh. that have their works displayed here. Their artworks cut across all genres of art. So you have paintings, sculptures, fabric, art, textiles, um, pottery, ceramics, beads, beaded books. You have all sorts of art. Mm. You have upcycled art as well. Okay. Metal works. So, you know. Yeah, I can see all of this that. This is an example of yes. recycled. Yes, I can see the tires too. So what's the traffic like? The people really come here? Okay, so this gallery was established in 2020. Okay, and that's had over fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Yes, influx of people. Wow, and children, um, primary school, secondary school children make up the majority of the people who come around. We also have copper, so we have about the ratio of thirty thousand um, school students mm. coming around, and between adults, teenagers, um, coppers, and private individuals, we have about. Uh, more than 20,000 people who have also come in through these doors. So people can have something like this in Ibadan one, do you know? They know it's a thriving business. Exactly. Apart from the paintings and artworks that you see here, we also have resident artists who come around. We have international artists that you okay. know, have their exhibitions there. Also have resident artists, you know, that work here and, you know, do their thing here as well. So this is the style of the... Uh, Proprietor or the person who established this guy. Oh, okay. The Tunde? Yes, Tunde Okay. Yes, this is his work. His style is also internationally renowned. Presently, he's out of the country, you know, being an ambassador oh, okay. of Nigeria um, through art. So anything that you see that's basically quilted with beads and um, fabric, mm. batik, that's his style. It is said that in Africa, we do not have any form of scripts or writing, and I think that's false. We had a coded language. You will see okay. symbols and you will understand what they meant for us. Yes, Not yes. Like the alphabets that we have true, today. So true. have to see some of the symbols mm. and you can actually understand what they mean. This caught my eyes. So this. <laughs> it caught my eyes from the very <laughs> moment I stepped in here. <laughs> but I want more of his work. <laughs> so it's been velvet and painted with um, acrylic. I love the transition of colors. Yes, absolutely. From light to dark. Yes. Like from dark to light. 
and um, they all tell a story about spirituality, um, higher dimension, higher self, our culture, customs. I I've just become a lover of art recently. I think as we grow older, we just see these things and appreciate and I realized, I told my husband, look, I want us to buy more of these things in our homes. Yeah. We have several, really. Oh, wow. This is a lot of work. This is creative. You wouldn't even know. I mean, the dedication to this. What's your most expensive piece here? Uh, the most expensive piece that I've seen is about 45. 45 million. Do you have it here? It's sold. It's not on display presently. Oh, wow. Of course, it can't be on display. <laughs> if you're coming here to get something, yeah. know that. You could just have a budget of um, from 2,000 to 45 million. Writing is also an art. Yes, it yeah. is. So you have. Yes, it is. Um, if at the enlightenment, how to do a boring, like ah. appease your head, your spirit. It's bringing so many memories back, you know? Yeah. When you grow older and you get so into your business, you hardly have time to read all the stories. <laughs> you know, back then in, in, in primary, secondary school, I had lots of all of these books, mm. reading them. And it's, I mean... By Fagun as well, I did so no to marry. These are very interesting books that everybody should read. Do you like, paint? I paint, I'm a painter as well. Okay. We have um, Sipa Painter, we also have, um, I mean, different kind of arts. Is that also um, Tunde? Yeah. yeah. I can see the connectivity here. Oh, okay. Hmm. The Royals of uh, Yoruba land, not Yoruba land, of Nigeria. So you have the Edo, uh, the Hausa. Hausa. Thank you for taking me on this tour. Thank you. I mean, I look forward to coming back here again. And of course, I'm sure you would have a lot of my viewers come here. Just, I mean, if you're coming here, just say Eden Oasis. I'm sure you get a discount from her. Oh, definitely. <laughs> you will be getting a discount. Just mention Eden Oasis. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Monyet. And now, let's talk about the nightlife in Ibadan. This city truly comes alive at night. And I had the chance to meet some incredible fire-breathing performers. The energy, the music, the people, it was an unforgettable experience. It's golf time and I'm all dressed in my golf regalia, ready to play the game of golf. Today I'll be meeting with the captain and if, of course they're going to show me around all the holes. We're going to play golf, definitely. Hello, captain. Thank you. <laughs> good, to, good to meet you. Thank please, you. please introduce yourself. <laughs> uh, Shiyala Boy is my name. I'm the captain of Ibada Golf Club. This is Ibada Golf Club, uh, one of the best golf courses we have in Nigeria. Uh, is the home of golf and its tradition. Ibada Golf Club uh, happens to be a section at Ibada Recreation Club, 1902, until about uh, 35 years ago that uh, Ibada Golf Club moved away from Ibada Recreation Club. So since then, we've been here playing golf and enjoying ourselves. This is the, the clubhouse, the pavilion, where after we play the round of golf, we come here to relax ourselves and have a good time. Good time. Yeah. Sure. What's your membership like? Over uh, 2,000. Actively, we have well over 500 people that are playing golf. And we have some that they are more or less like a social members. Okay. You know, yeah. Okay, so if I want to join the Ibado Golf Club, yeah. is it very rigorous? Uh, well, somehow, I would say that the procedures, we are so meticulous about who comes in, your character, your behavior, and uh, who are you in the society. We don't want to bring somebody in and it will be someone that he sure. doesn't uh, have a good uh, record in the society. Like, like last year, we shortlisted uh, well over 250 people, and eventually, we inducted 67. So let's explore this. I mean, it's really big. It seems like it's bigger than what we have in Lagos. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, like I said, the Golf Club is one of the most beautiful 
course in Nigeria. And then uh, why I said that is because of the topography of this course. Mm. It's naturally endowed. Yes, I can yes. see that. So, and then when you see the landmass, the way it's designed, maintained, you know, anybody that comes here, they like to come back. This is the starting point, it's O1. Oh. The O1 starts from here, there's the tea box for O1. Start from here down to the uh, green over there. Hmm. The yellow marker is for the amateur, the white marker is for the golf professional, and the red marker over there is for the ladies. Like you said, that place is called the bunker. Yeah, they don't want every hole to be cheap, hmm. so they created a kind of obstacles. You should play into that bunker now. Your chances of coming out is very slim, except yeah. if you have skills. Hopefully, I get to see someone who plays right directly. So I would very, love to capture that. It's very, it's very, very rare. We never fall back. Yeah. We never fall back. What qualifies you for the next hole? When okay. you pass the first one, right? Yeah, no. Um, like this hole now, if you remember, I told you about uh, hole one, that hole one is part three. Yes. For this hole, it's longer, it's par five. Okay. What that means is that you must play five. Five, yes. You are expected to play maximum of five, you know, to play par on this hole. So you continue playing your game, where your ball stops, pick it again from there. So they will count it for you. How many times did you play till you put out on that hole? Mm. Or you be on the apron for three, you do two putting, you put for five. Sometimes if you miss your t-shirt, maybe you go inside a bush, you go out of bounds. You may end up playing six, seven, eight, mm. nine, even ten. Like in football now, if you score like ten goals, it's good for you yeah. to win. Yeah. But this one, you must have lower scores well, oh. for you to win. And one thing we don't tolerate in game of golf is that we don't tolerate people not being honest. If you cheat, it's so bad that they can expel you from the club, yes. If you cheat in the game, you know, that you manipulated your scores, it's as bad as they can. So this is not just coming to have fun? No, 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 no. <laughs> in fact, they, they are not, they take that very, very seriously. This is another long, long par five. You know, the tail, the tail box is over there, right back, there, go straight all the way. Let's assume you're coming, your ball lands somewhere here, or your ball lands somewhere there. If you are a very good uh, golfer, you still have to use your pitching. So when you chip your ball like this on the green, then the next thing you go, uh, use your putter to put it. Like I said, it's a game of precision. Yes. Do your practice swing. Watch your ball. <laughs> so if you want to give it a try, huh? Okay. Like a pendulum. You do it like mm. a pendulum. Not. Okay. So you do it like a pendulum. You let your hand flow. Yeah. Give it a try and let's see. Okay. I tried, but another thing you need to do. You balance yourself. Like you are doing like this. Uh, okay. No, you balance yourself. You look at your alignment where you're going. You balance yourself and you position your porter. Like a pendulum, I said. Oops! That was close! <laughs> that was good. What does the, um, your members get to enjoy? When you play golf regularly, maybe like two times a week, three times a week, you exercise yourself. It improves your cardiovascular uh, stuff. 
and then um, you know you 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 you're going to be very fit to do a lot of things. Many of our members live to age of 85, 89, 90. They still play golf. Hmm. You know, they may not be able to play it in holes at that age. They may even use cards, but they still play golf. You want to try that? Yes, I want to try. Okay. Hmm. I haven't done this before, but I can't do it. <laughs> Like I said, some people we'll actually play the 18 holes in a day. Yes. Some people play twice. Yes, some play twice. Some sit as they say, no, I'm off. That one will not do me anything. Then they, then it takes some more. Wow. Yeah. Donated bossy water. What's he love? Double X sell up in the pen, you can't shake that. All the way get stuff, full tank, man. Moving too quick, keep the cameras in the playback. Dang, so tell me how you feel with it. You put a lid on it, I ain't got no chill with it. This right here, your problem, you gon' have to deal with it. Lead on the line, high risk, that's the meal ticket. Yeah, we ain't never fall back. That's a good one. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> the perception that uh, is an old people's game. Yes. It's <laughs> changing gradually now because we have a whole lot of younger people that are playing oh. golf now, yes. They are seeing the benefits and it's even better you start playing golf on time. On time. Although we, what we're trying to do now is to create more awareness. <laughs> Nice playing with nice you. Nice playing with you too. <laughs> I also want to congratulate you. I mean, you just be recently became captain. Yes. Congratulations. And I want to wish you all the best. I now want to be a golfer. <laughs> that's a good one. Like, I look forward to seeing as you. As soon as I get to Lagos, that's one of the things I'm going to do. It's now on my bucket list. I mean, I'm thinking, should I relocate from Lagos to Ipado? Because I, I just had. <laughs> that, that, that would be a good one. That would be a good one. <laughs> I just had a good time, and apart from that, but the greenery, the ambience, it's just so relaxing and so soothing. Anytime you're in Ibado, you're welcome. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, and I also want to thank you for coming around, you know, to spend time with us, you know, to see our facilities and all of this. I thank you for your time and for the interest in the Battle Golf Club. Thank you, sir. And we hope to see you some other time. Definitely. Why we call Lagos the concrete jungle? Well, Ibadan can be called the green haven. Studies have shown that access to green spaces will reduce your stress level and, of course, improve your mental health. And boy, oh boy, I've been here a couple of days and this is the truth. I feel rejuvenated. My stress level has reduced and I think I should be coming here really often. Now, beyond all of this, the beauty of Ibadan can only be with all of this greenery. It's beautiful, it's aesthetically pleasing. And let me tell you, even if you have something in Lagos, it is imperative that you get to own something here in Ibado. Beyond the fact that Ibado is gradually becoming the next big thing to happen in terms of real estate investment, the landscaping, the greenery is everything you've ever envisaged. <laughs>
beer at the Ibadan Recreation Club, a historic place where members come to hang out, network, and have fun. Established in the 1930s, this club has been a social hub for generations. Members can enjoy games, food, drinks, and even bring their families for a fun day out. I spoke with the general secretary of the club, who gave amazing insights. The Ibadan Recreation Club was established in 1902. Wow, that's, that's a long about, time. Yes, it is. That was 122 years ago now. Wow. And uh, then it was actually called the European Club. The members at the time were only Europeans. No black uh, men were admitted at all. Not until when by Nauru and the likes okay. fought for it and um, started having Nigerians wow. as members. That was around 1960 something. In 1966, we had the first Nigerian to become the president. That same person that became the president then, the first Nigerian, is actually the chairman of our board of trustees right now. He's still alive. Wow! <laughs> that is, yes. I wish I could have him on this interview. Wow! <laughs> Mr. Gelak. Beautiful. Yeah. How, yeah, how he old comes is he now? Uh, I think he's 89 now. And, and he still comes to the club? Yes, he comes to the club. Twice, three times a week. Not only he comes to the club, but he comes to play squash. Hmm. and tennis. So it's still very, very active, which is uh, what the Barrication Club is all about. It's about recreation, having members interact socially, hmm. and of course, fitness. We have so many games you can partake in. You have squash, tennis, table tennis, Great. darts, players and snooker. We have badminton as well. A new addition, we have a gym now. It's called Gym and Aerobics. Of course, we have a swimming pool as well. There's something for everyone. Everyone, it's a combination of everything. It's a combination of everyone. And wow. it's a family club. Once you join every other member of your family, I mean your immediate family, Okay. they are members of the club. You guys host tournaments here? Yeah, we do. We host tournaments with other clubs. Oh, we okay. invite other clubs to come and play like with us. Tennis. Athletic clubs, okay, okay. like tennis or darts, or there are times we have specialized, maybe just one section has invited the section of another affiliated club to come and play with them. Great. There are times maybe it's just tennis or maybe it's just team tennis only or squash only. And there are times when we invite maybe the whole of Lagos Country Club and they come in and, and they, they play all, here. and they come here. Once they're a member here, all the athletic clubs too, you have the benefit of okay. accessing them and using their facilities, facilities. where I find yourself in the country. Right now, what, like, what's the membership like? The membership strength, the active membership okay. strength is 700 plus. 700? Yes. If you're, we are looking not... at total membership, we have about 2,000. I mean, you're not in Ibadan. You're watching this and you're like, Ibadan, Ibadan, the Asian city, what really could be happening in Ibadan? And then you're hearing this yes. happening right here in Ibadan. It's really interesting. I mean, people need to come down and visit Ibadan. You need to come to the recreation club and experience all that's happening here. Actually, the stadium, Adama Simba Stadium, used to be part of Ibadan Recreation Club. Yes. Hmm. Polo Club, part of it used to be part of Ibadan Recreation Club. Oh, okay. Golf Club used to be part of Ibadan Wow. Club. That's was how big, big it was at the time. But then, we are still together. Most of the members there are members there. Yeah, this is the billiards and snooker section. When I joined about 24 years ago, that was, this was the section I came to. I've been privileged to be chairman of this section for about five years. Wow, so you are very good at this game. Not very good, <laughs> but I try. But this is the game I enjoy. These are the standard billiards table. This was brought in in 1954, and this was brought in 1956. Yeah, it's much more older than... These are older than my, my parents. Much older than <laughs> When you're coming into the country, just make sure you are coming to visit the Badon Recreation Club. Everything is right here. You yes, could... It is. So it's not just Lagos, Abuja. It's about time you come on a tour here yes. and experience Ibadan in all its glory. Not just the brown roof that we... Nah, no, nah, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> As matter of fact, let me not tell you another thing. It's very rare for you to find a place where you will get eight tennis courts in a single location in the whole of the country. It's and that's very what rare. you guys have here? We have four clay courts and four art courts. I always come to Ibadan, but you know how the media has changed the narrative about Ibadan. If it's not Lagos, if it's not Port Harcourt, if it's not Abuja, there's nowhere else, you know, in Nigeria that actually gives you value. No, Ibadan no? gives a lot of value. Yes, I can see that. Yeah. So what are the future plans for the Ibadan Recreation Club? 
we try as much as possible to get in the younger folks into the club to replace the older ones. Part of what we are doing to attract them is to make sure that whatever, what they're looking for out there is right here right inside here. this club. The traffic inside the club has increased. Right now, we have nothing less than 300 members coming in every day. Every day. Every day. So I know um, one of the reasons why people join clubs like this is basically for networking. So are you trying to tell me I'll get to see the right people here? I will network with the right people in here. Just tell me about the caliber of people. This is the best place to be when one's want to meet the right people. There's a lot of networking going on here. Social, business, anything. We have judges, we have lawyers, we have doctors, surgeons, name it. Wow. They are members there, even okay. governors. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right now, the governor is a member, the speaker is a member, and so many commissioners are members there. And even captains of industries, people that you ordinarily might not see on the road, no, yeah. you see them as members there. Okay. And you'd be surprised they've joined a long time ago. So if you want good networking, you will get it here. Whatever is you have, whatever you need to do, there's only somebody available to do it for you. You get a lot of business connections. If you are the social type, party going type, you will get, go to a lot of parties and you'll be tired. <laughs> because there's always a member having an event one weekend or the other. Almost every weekend, one section is doing one event or the other, one party or the other. So there's never a dull moment here. I also met the president of the club, who gave me some information about what makes this place so special. How do we develop talents here? If you look back, uh, behind you, you see some young chaps. Yes. They come here, they play all the different kind of games that we have here. We have coaches in every section, people representing Nigeria. Oh. At, at different levels. Levels, of okay. Of the tournament, international tournament. We have Nigeria number two in tennis. He's a member. African champions, uh, number two in Africa. Well, my immediate past president was one thing, number two in Africa. We must have heard of Faidi Ekun, who was uh, one, one of the greatest table tennis players in Nigeria. He's, oh he's a member here. So we develop a lot of youngsters, people hmm. grow here. We've been around for a long time, champions locally, and then a lot of but their skills are honed here. Oh, yes. This is where it started from. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, this year, the club hosted the Nigerian Police <laughs> Games. It was hosted here. They had a good time. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Even the commissioner of sport, when he came here, I couldn't believe the facility we have yeah. and a number of people have been passing through they never knew what we have in this club until they came in it's get... worth visiting oh yes because I, yes. I, I come to Ibadu a lot I've passed here mm -hmm. I mean <laughs> over and over again and I'm like nothing not really you know how everyone already has a notion about Ibadu yes, you know? yes I... if not I mean we've been seeing what has been happening the roads and all that like okay okay I think something is really happening Happen, here let's yeah. come see you know if not with that we came in and we saw and we were shocked I mean, a lot of people, myself, I would not have believed it. And I'm so glad that we're putting this thing out there and people from all over the world are able to see and, I mean, see all of these things that uh, that meet international standards. With all of the things the government is trying to do, you know, the coastal road, I'm sure you're aware of all of that. Mm -hmm. And now we have a train from Lagos to Ibadan. So, I mean, after the whole hustle in Lagos, it could just be like you're going from here to the from island to the mainland, you know, commuting from Lagos to Ibadan. Yes, yes. You just come spend the weekend, have fun. I mean, that's some, that's what we're trying to encourage, really. So not just Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. People need to see and experience every part of Nigeria. Nigeria is uh, not Lagos, Abuja. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> no. Let me let me let me also say this: a number of our members live in Lagos. I mean, they work in Lagos, and their families are here. They brought their families here, and you see them. They come in sometimes. Thursday evening and spent of the course. entire weekend and leave on Monday morning. A number of our members park their cars at the train station and commute some drive themselves. <laughs> Even the commute from the airport here. This so, is this is the Ibadan we're supposed to know. So what does it take to be a member of the Recreation Club? Okay, first 1902. 1902. <laughs> Thank you for adding that. That's, our name is not complete. Yes. We don't have 1902. Basically, you have to be an adult. You require two sponsors. Your two sponsors must be financial members. Financial members, how do you that mean? That is, you must have paid your dues you, every okay, year okay, consistently okay. for, for five, years. five years. Wow. And if you are not five years old, you cannot introduce somebody. <laughs> so the individual who fill an application form, you paid the entrance fee. 
like 500,000. Once you pay that, then they schedule an interview for you. Okay. We have a screening wow. interview. <laughs> this is the whole Just paying, paying the money doesn't make automatically make you okay. a, a member because we screen you. We want to know who you are, what you do for a living. Once you pass that screening, and it's not easy, we've turned people back and returned their I, money. I, I was going to ask that, have yeah. you turned? Oh, really? Yeah. Pay $500,000 automatically make a member. No. We've returned people's money, and then, no, you are not qualified to be a member. So once you pass through the screening, and you pass the screening, right, then the next thing is to be inducted. And we conduct screening every three months, four times a year, every quarter. But twice a year, we do the induction. So I'm in Ibadan right now, and I'm not a member, right? But I want to play the game of tennis, table tennis. Can I just come? Is this open to non-members? Do I have to pay? What can I do to just come and have fun? The Battle Recreation Club is strictly a membership club. Oh. It's only for <laughs> members of the club or affiliate members from all the 26 clubs that are affiliated uh, with the club. When they are here, they enjoy our facilities. We go to them. We also enjoy their facilities. However, if you are coming to Ibadan, like work a professional, and you come in to Ibadan for maybe, say, three months, we have temporary membership. Temporary membership goes through the same process of membership. If you want to be a temporary member because you are a professional here in Ibadan, maybe you are taking courses at the UI or you are here for a program with one of those organizations here mm -hmm. in Ibadan. Then you can register with two members sponsoring you. It's only for 90 days. Wow. And you can only do that once in a year. <laughs> yeah. so it's so really strict. I wouldn't say we are strict. And the reason for that is because we want to protect the interests of our members. You can't just let any Tom G. Canary mm -hmm. be a member of here, of this club. Otherwise, you have all kind of trouble. We don't want that because we, you have high net worth individuals, oh, okay. a lot of them here. You wouldn't know them, you know, you don't see them wearing sports, wear sitting down <laughs> quietly, either playing their game or sitting down drinking, you know, having uh, refreshments. You wouldn't know, you know, who they are. Hmm. Well, a lot of high net worth individuals, not just Nigerians alone, we have foreigners here who are non Nigerians. They are here, there are plenty of them. Members are free to bring in guests, you know, up to four guests. Can you believe Ibadan has a water park? Neither could I until I visited this amazing spot. This place is perfect for a fun day out with family and friends. Which is to Lagos, the Eleyele Lakes is to Ibadan. This is the Eleyele Lakes, and we are right here at the Royal Entertainment Cruise in Eleyele Lakes. Now, there are lots of things that could be done here. This is one hangout spot for so many people and the residents of Ibadan. You could come here to have a boat cruise, kayak, and we have the paintball. Look, it's a combination of everything basically. Just come have fun, unwind, and do everything that makes you happy right here. Beautiful landscape. We have the, those houses there and the hill. And this lake cuts across um, other parts of Ibado. So we could go with your speedboat to every part of Ibado. I like. So I got to find out about this place yesterday. Okay. Yes, I mean, and I was like, no, 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 no. I have to check this place. We're supposed to leave Ibado today. Right? Okay. But just because we, we got to know about this place yesterday, we, we okay. told ourselves, let's check this place out. Let's see, I mean, let's Sorry. see what it looks like. Because from the pictures we saw, I mean, it looked like a whole different experience. Wow. It's something that people least expected can of course. come out of Ibano. February was out of the country. I was in Calgary to be precise. So okay. I was discussing with a friend of mine that there's a place in Ibano now. And he said, you know the intro? Yes, yes, yes. I said, do you know there is now a boat cruise and stuff there. I said, really? It's not possible. I said, ah, where you have water, 
there's nothing stopping us from having cruising experience. What is the sense of us traveling out and seeing what they are doing there? We can't just replicate exactly. what they are doing there. It doesn't make us mm -hmm. a better person. It is here I see people want to pay you money and they are still going to pray for you. So there is a lot of opportunities in Ibadan. Sure. It's a lot of prospects. Like it's a virgin land. Sure. Absolutely. So there is a market for it. People, what, what's your everyday? I mean, it's a Tuesday and I can see people here. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, if it were to be a weekend, we won't have time for this. It's experience people have been longing for. It's something they want to do. do. And they look at the cost of going to Lagos. The Ilache, stress Ilache Ilache is, like, is like two million per night. Exactly. So what, what's the future plan for this? I know I can see lots of expansion here and there. Yeah. Um, the big picture. Some people, they are not even interested in, say they want to cruise. They've cruised tire. Exactly. But they want to have a feel of nature. Just sit Come down, relax. relax, and just uh, refresh your brain, you know? Beautiful. So we have, uh, you know, a serene and beautiful environment that people can just come and uh, chill. Mm -hmm. Ibadan is far from what you actually um, thought it would be. Yeah. It's a whole new experience, whole new world. Things are changing and they're all happening for the best. So make sure you come visit this place, yeah, Royal Entertainment Cruise. so much fun i mean similar experience to what i've actually experienced in lagos it's amazing i mean and there are some corners you could just pass through but i was scared to actually embark on that journey overall i enjoyed myself you should come check it out soon i decided to check some incredible real estate opportunities in ibadan I met with a local realtor who showed me around some amazing estates. Hello, Kenny. How you doing? Hey, confidence. <laughs> good to finally meet you. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so I'm going to hold you by the neck right now. You <laughs> promised me, you told me that there are so many luxurious estates yes. in Ibado and beautiful houses. Yes. So you're going to show them to me today and of course to my viewers. All right, yes. where, what, what estate are we in right now? Uh, welcome to Hegel Drum Jerry in Salmon. Okay. Yeah, in Nevada. One of the top... Really? <laughs> Jerry in Nevada. Top three or top ten? I'm very top, top three. This is top one say? in Nevada. I can see a building here. Are we touring this or...? Come with me. So he wants to whet our appetite. So come along. <laughs> Aha, so this is, this is a four-bedroom duplex with a okay. rental. It is going for just 200 million naira. 200 million. Of, what, what size of land is this? Uh, 450 square meter. 450 square. This, this 450 square meters I'm seeing are kind of bigger than what I see in Lagos. <laughs> but it's really big, actually. Yes. It's big. Okay. So what are the features of this home? Let's 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 okay. Take it. Let's take it together. So welcome to the living room. Okay. You can see it's okay. quite so special for the family. Yes, yes, I can see that. So that's the dining room. That's the because dining, yeah. Now we are going heading to Madame's office, which is a... Madame's office, really? <laughs> oh, I like the kitchen, it's spacious. Yes. And then we have like the island here. Yes. Nice. Okay, what do we have? Is that a room? That's a store, a oh, store for okay. the kitchen. Okay, so four so, bedrooms. Do you have a room downstairs? There's a, there's a room here. Okay. And it comes with its own convenience suite. Uh, so that is the toilet there. In the bathroom, all right. In the bathroom. Okay, nice. So we have other rooms upstairs to the masters, right? Yes. So, ah, this is a very spacious lounge. Very, very, very spacious. Okay, so we have a penthouse too. Yeah, a penthouse. Oh, nice. That way you have the masters to the primary suite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And then you have your beautiful. Balcony, as you can see, you yeah. having view of what is going on. Yes, and you know, just facing the express. Yes, right? you know, we're having amazing view of what is going on outside there. Of course, you know, of course. the house. Beautiful. Okay, so we have the, the, the masters upstairs here. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's, let's, have, let's check in the master bed. Okay. 
So this there's a room here, and then this is the master toilet. Yes, so this is a master bed. Uh huh. You can see this is a massive, and this is a bathroom. Bathroom. Okay. So welcome to another. Oh, room. we have another. So this is like um, the primary suite. Yeah, lounge yes, or yeah. rooftop terrace and all. At least for me, okay. like the same you as you are over there, you know, you have an amazing, you know, view. Okay, okay, that's nice. I love that we have this. The, the drain. I wish you had another drain there so that when it rains, we don't have yes. water yeah, yeah, you know. piling up and it could just go down. You know, that, that would have made it really nice. And it could just put like some little artificial grass here to just bring some life to this place, you know. It would really be nice. Yes, yes. If you want to hang out with your friends and all of that. Yes just makes it really, really cute. Okay, so this is house number one. Any other project you want to show me? Let's check. Let's, let's go, let's, let's go. go. You, you said this is Colapore. Colapore Shola Jerry. It's a beautiful estate. Yeah. So tell me about this estate. Oh wow, Kolapo Ishola is an exclusive GRE. Here in this GRE, we have the likes of our governor, Sweet Mackendee. Really? Yeah, he's living somewhere just close here. Right now in Kolapo Ishola, right now, we are getting a plot. It's, it's something around 200 million, 150 million dollars per plot. That's why right now there's no much of available properties for sales or anything. 200 million naira for a plot of yes, land. Yes. What's your land size here in Ibadan? There are, there are land size stuff from, even like imagine, like I said, all land in Kuala 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 have already been sold. So, oh, so, so we don't even have so any majority big... people land that saying is cut out. Maybe probably someone that bought 2,000 then, now cut out like 500 square meter. So it's, it's kind of, you know, and even right now it's an odd kick. Anybody selling the plot, any land available in Kuala Kuala even without even marketing. So do we have houses here for sale? Yeah, we have like that. We have like that. Well, at least like two units or four units available for sale in Kuala Kuala. Like even there are even not too many, just like three or four units. Like, what's the price range for houses? Like a five bedroom? We have uh, we have one four bedroom duplex right in Kuala Kuala selling for one sixty million naira, and then we have one with penthouse selling for two twenty million naira. So Ibadan is really really thriving right now in yes. terms of real estate. Yes, yes. I mean, this is a very beautiful estate. The landscaping, the drainages. I mean, of course. You can't see flooding layout, here, of course, everything. but I can see the layout done perfectly. What's the power like here? Ah, uh, you know, in Nigeria, uh, generally light, but I, uh, there's guarantee of 15, 20 hours power supply in, okay. in Kolapoishola. But this is an old estate, so, right? Yeah, not that old. Kolapoishola is just like, uh, probably like four or five years old now. So, <laughs> And it's all sold. This house is really stunning. I, I just can't believe that we have this right here in this estate. We have such in, in Pinock Beach, in Banana Island, but here. As you have Ikoyi in, in Lagos, I was in Ikoyi for you, but no, this is Kola Pueshola. So all these things are, are not new in Kola Pueshola. We, we have cups of all these lovely mansions in Kola Pueshola, even like, like 10 or something. So to us, it's not really new. Like I said, it's our own Ikoyi in Ibadu. <laughs> So we so, have several units of this kind of Yes, in, 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 in Kuala Kuala, like I said, people living there are not just ordinary people. So mm -hmm. it's for me for a premium, you know. Premium. So, you know, <laughs> you, 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 you buying land of 200 million dollars worth, you, you can imagine building just ordinary That's property. True. So you That's can so imagine true. the massive and the luxury a mansion you are going to build. Where, where are we right now? We are in a cutting gate jail. Cutting it by Just behind Mega there. Mound, right? Yeah, yeah. We have Develop Mega Mound in, in Lagos. Lake yes, Mountain. yes. It has the same developer in Nevada. Oh, great. So, of course, we should expect the same kind of infrastructure. Yes, sure. As I, I mean, of course, I can see. I can see. Oh, wow. I love this. Look at this space. It's it's quite big. This yes. is on what, what size of land? 450 uh, square meters. 450 square meters. Yeah. And it's this big. I mean, you can pass it to like five cars here, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Motorized access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stamped concrete. Okay, so, these are the things we get to see in Lagos. I, I like, I like. Yeah, and this is a living area. Okay. This is quite special. I can see, and then yeah. several windows, the chandelier, beautiful. Yeah. I can see that. There's ventilation, so let's go to the madam's madam's room. This is the kitchen. <laughs> okay. So, so it comes the, fitted to the yeah, fitted extractor. Kitchen. Oh, all right. And then there's, the, there's a CCTV. They have this space for them. Yeah. All right, that's that's nice. And this is in the market for one forty million. 40 million. 
So what exactly is really going on? Because everywhere I go, you say sold out, sold out, sold out. What is happening in Ibadan? I mean, the real estate market is beyond what I even expected. Oh my God. <laughs> What's up? Okay, are these ones available? No, these are actually these are for rental purpose. Okay. And believe me, they all went out. Oh. All went out. Even this I'm one, then is, uh, is eight million per annum. To the service charge included. You can see. We have about four units here, about four units here also. Everything I used to be eight out. units are all gone. All gone, yeah, in Abaddon. So let's say in Abaddon is, is actually very booming. People are coming inside. Believe me, people are coming from Lagos. Because I can see, I can see the development. Um, the governor is really uh, making a lot of effort into improving infrastructure. Yes, yes. And he's open to investors. So of course, yes. he's really coming here. But I didn't think it was this crazy. Uh, very, very crazy. I mean, I'm seeing houses here and the next thing I'm like, let's check out this one, sold out. Let's check out that one, sold out. Like, what exactly is available here? So what about this one, Stu? This, this house is sold also. Wait, see, <laughs> what is the problem? <laughs> sold? So, sold. Our investment in Ibadan are also playing, so the three units have been sold. Even mm -hmm. right when they are even building itself. Are you serious? Yes. Like, what's that off plan? Yes. Okay, so what about these houses now? Please don't tell me they're also <laughs> because they are beautiful. Yeah, okay, okay. Now we have this one, we have two units here. One unit okay. has been sold. You mean one unit here, this one. This one it has... Like a, it looks like a newly constructed... Newly, yeah. This one has a swimming pool and a cinema uh, room. So this is a four bedroom duplex. Okay. With the big here at the back, swimming pool and cinema room inside, like I said the last time. Oh, I love this so, door. Let's check. This is something unique and beautiful. How much is this house going for? 160 million naira. Are you serious? It's Look, this negotiable. is negotiable. This is, of course, it shouldn't be negotiable. I mean, what gets to negotiate again? Just the, the door alone is giving some kind of nice, gorgeous vibe. Yeah, yeah. So this is the, the living area. Yeah, good area. And I'm that sure you can have a dining yeah, right there. Dining. <clears throat> okay. It has a kitchen. Oh, okay. So very, very spacious. And like I said, that was a swimming mm -hmm. pool. I love the thoughtfulness of the developer. I mean, we have like um, like a garden. You can have your garden yes. right there, yeah? yeah? So it's up to you to, you know, get it manicured. Yeah. But that was just thoughtful. And then we have all the grasses and greenery all around. This is this is a very beautiful vibe. Now let's let's go in. So this is the kitchen. Look at okay. the kitchen. Uh, Madame's room. So Madame's room. <laughs> so fitted, like you all say. So first okay. time you're doing with your, you having your view, your amazing view, your balcony. I know, right? You know. I mean, I love the the estate. It's very serene. I mean, you could just come out yeah. here and unwind and receive all the fresh air. And uh, okay, that's the walk-in closet right there, yeah. Yes. So you can see two lots where you have your closet, you have your everything, you know. Oh, okay. very, 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 very big. Nice. But the real estate market is booming. And I'm so glad to be here to witness all of this and to also show my clients out there and of course my subscribers that it's not just about Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt. Lots of things are happening because I get to hear some of my clients say, oh, the hustle and bustle of Lagos, I can't stand. I went somewhere, you know, cool, calm, you know, not too stressful. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited that we have these estates. Thanks so much for coming and showing the world what Ibadan looks in general. <laughs> Believe me, Ibadan, it, it is not just about the brown roof you are seeing online. It's incredible to see such beautiful homes here, completely different from the city of brown roof stereotype. Standout project is MKH City, offering affordable and stunning real estate options. Let's hear more about it from the developer. Welcome to MKH City. Currently, we have over 100 workers working every day. This project is over four million dollars, and that is why our partners are coming in finance union band. Are, oh, MKH, we cannot do this thing alone. We have to bring sure. them in. Okay. Because we have a time frame, 36 months to deliver it. From Lagos to Ibadan, it's less than one hour. It's so, smooth. I mean, smooth. Smooth from my house to this place is one hour. I've taken it more than three, four, five times. From Lekki to this is one hour drive. And it's not far from the express. Exactly. What can we do? Last year, I came into Ibadan with my team. Started making some findings. We met with all the stakeholders, the government of Israel. That where can, can you accommodate us in Ibadan? to create what is in our mind, our dream. We want to create another city inside Ibadan City. The kind of feelings that people have in Lagos to Ibadan. Site and service estate, all the houses are going to be fully smart. All the cables are going to be underground. Every house is going to have an internet access. 
the gas assets, the water and electricity asset. A cell phone attached to each kit building we are building hmm. that can call directly to the gate and to call every security checkpoint inside the estate. We realize that we have a lot of people in the diaspora that from this particular state, but they have not been seen things Something like this. Something befitting their standard yes. level. We have different type of houses. We have my unit. We have three bedroom bungalows. We have terraces, and we have fully detached. Yes. On the other side of me here, we're having our fully detached. Touch there. So just 14 units of VIP people, and we have just 10 left. So before you can buy into that VIP section, you need to check your provider. You actually want to live there. So if you have money and you are living outside MK City in Ibada, you don't have money. Lagos have Banana Island. Yes. Ibada, we have MK City. That's beautiful. We want to compete with Banana Island, the standard of what we want to build it. The good thing about it is the fact that you also have Union Bank. Of course. Not any kind of bank. Union, Union bank, bank is yes. one of the strongest banks of right course. here in Nigeria. Financing, supporting. They want to make sure that no. every day everyone is working. Everyone is working. We're going to commit to this estate in September and we're going to deliver the first houses in December. December. So we hand over the key to them. Just a six month project. We don't want to exceed that. I'm part of the team managing this project, not just sitting down on the chair and be crossing the leg. I'm the project manager here. I have ideas of everything going on. Beautiful. I dictate to everything here. I know the dimension, the meter, everything we need to have it. Important. Everything I have it here. So whatever we want to do, my contribution is very, very important because I have the final seat. I have 25 engineers on ground, both the civil, mechanical, electrical, builders and architects are here. They are going to work here for the period of that 36 months. What exactly makes this place stand out? We have many features here. Going down there, we already have the base for the artificial lake. We are working on it already. So in the next six months, we'll be done with artificial lake. Okay. The artificial lake is on 1,200 square meters. We have three sports center. We have lawn tennis and the basketball here. We have the children park down there. So that one is going to come with the swimming pool for the children. Okay. A lot of games for the children. And we have another one at the back. Every cable service is going to be underground, like I said before. And the, the size of the road is seven meters. It's wide enough. Here is another general car park. It's one it's 1,200 square meters here. Okay. In case you have more cars you want to park, so all you have fixed up for two, three days, you can come here and park. So uh, aside our engine room, we're having a, a general cover that can accommodate 150 cars here. Yeah. Now tell us, what kind of units should we expect here? Three bedrooms, smart bungalow with big cube. Really? What size? Because I know bungalows are like things most people are always requesting for. So what's okay. the size of the land? The size of the land is 350 square meters. That's wow, that's so, really massive. And even the, bung the, the big cube at the back is 12 square meters. So it's mm. just like the standard of room in the UK, in different parts of yes, the world. Yeah. <laughs> so the each room is 14 square meter standard and the living room is around 35 to 40 square meter. Wow. So it's very massive. The bungalow comes with two space for cars, the garage. Aside the space in the front, you can park another four cars. The Maison is on the 250 square meter, the two bedroom upstairs, and we have so that if you store toilet downstairs, downstairs with the living room. And the living room and the kitchen, together with the dining is 45 square meters, very massive. And That's we have great. four bedroom terraces as well. And then we have four bedroom duplexes on the two floor, which sell swimming pool and the- I was and waiting the, to hear that swimming pool. And, and the terrace as well. In front of the master bedroom, you can actually come out and see the view of the estate in the evening. The sit out for the fully detached accommodate minimum of 50 persons hmm. there. And then you have your swimming pool. Everything is smart including the blinding that comes with the house. So if it's you want to fully detach, know that we have just 10 units left. 10 units left, four is so gone already. An I mean, an, another feature of the fully detached that, that I am aware of, exclusive in the sense that it, you can't even access it no, no, from no. the normal access. Of course. And no of one course. can just drive into the fully detached of course, area. Of so course. that exclusive for a select few, yeah. right? Yeah, we have site and surface as well. You can buy a land and build it. But before you build, we check your drawing very well just for because of you, not because of us. If you have a failed building, they can lock up this entire estate. So for you not to have something attached to your name, we have to check it well. And once it's okay, we allow you to process your document. And once you process your document, we can help you as well as a choice. Then you start building because we just want everywhere to be fantastic. And another advantage of people are buying bungalows. In the next 15, 20 years, we can give you approval to remove it Change. and build whatever that's, you like. That's, that's good. I mean, I think that makes a lot of, of sense. Of course, in the next 15, 20 years, just request, that makes send a, a letter to us. You can take it up and build another structure that you like. Being the fact that it's off plan, construction has just recently begun. Yes. Can there be changes made? A client that, okay, that would say, I want an open concept, you know. Why not? Okay. We give room for that as well. 
some of our projects in Lagos will do that as well. And even someone that bought into the bungalow, the man said, I don't want the bedroom bungalow with BQ. That BQ turned into a room, making four bedroom. We're doing that. But you have to tell us now, because of our foundation and the kind of structure we are putting up. But if you're changing is on the finishing level, by the time we're starting the finishing, just tell us that I love your design, but I'm adding this, I'm adding that. We we'll just state it on your form, and when we we'll get to that level of the unit, because by now you can pick your unit. Okay, that's good. By now you can pick your unit. At what stage, please? You now, even usually... on the layout, now you can so pick your unit. What the moment you are paying payments, fifty to sixty percent, we can good. give you your unit. Payment plan. Six months is in interest free. You can pay for one year, and I think it's one year. But if you want more than that, talk to us. We we'll give you. We can always work out something. This is our my unit. Mm. That's the first unit of my unit. We laid the foundation today. Congratulations. Thanks so much. So this is a part foundation. You know, if it's Lagos now, we'll be doing piling or we're doing raft. Yeah. Well, here this is, but we have a firm land. And exactly. that's why we're doing this kind of foundation here. From the design, the 3D, you realize that there's no single pillar in the, in the, in the building. Yes. When you enter, everywhere is empty, just like a hall. And in the next two months, one unit to be completed and finished so that people can see the luxury we are that talking about. Beautiful. So on this axis, we have 15 units. We have 15 units in the second road. The third lane, we have another 15, that's 45. So we have two roads in between them. The apartment will be meant for commercial, short lead or what have you. So we have a sports center as well. So if you don't have a car to live here, you can't have access here. Hmm. Both the VIP section and this section, you can't have access to it. So you guys are financing the project, right? Yes, we are willing to finance. We've seen uh, the opportunity there, the location, and uh, we've seen the plan. And uh, we've studied the history of MKH. Uh, we are so much interested to be part of the success story. We are sure this is going to be a success, so we want to be part of it. We are planning to come in where there will be short form of funds. Okay. That's where we are interested in coming in to. We don't want work to stop. We want right. the, right. we want it to continue to the till it is uh, completed. Okay. So we are planning to come in through that video. Would you guys be providing mortgage to clients who want to invest here? Yeah, if, you, if we have qualifying residents okay. that are interested in buying and they can provide some basic documents, proof of uh, income, okay. basically, we are very, very much interested oh. in uh, financing uh, this. So you're trying to say anyone and everyone can actually own something here? Yes, yes. Great. Once you have, oh, of course, of course, we won't just borrow to a jobless man. <laughs> oh, we need somebody <laughs> that generates income and we are willing to support. We believe in it, so we'll support. Great. So how long, what was your duration? For our mortgage, we can go as long as 10 years. Great. If you want 10 Great. years, that and works. we try as much as possible, even though the interest rate now is quite uh, high, more yes. high mm -hmm. we try as much as possible to bring it down because we are the financiers and you are coming for more. Again. So it's into perfect. it. So it's perfect. So we, it means if you have a good paying job, yes. you can own a home. Yes. You know, and spread your payment for up to 10 years. Yes. I mean, this is what most people are looking out for. Now, final question. Yes. We have a lot of diasporans who want to own something here. Okay. Are they also qualified clients? Well, we, it, it will be on one-on-one -on -one basis. We need to know where they are doing. You know, where their income is, it's not within our home control. Yes, yes. But we can look at it on individual basis. We might ask for maybe collateral or things like that. We okay. might hold on to the document, but we can support them too. Union you know, Bank is one of the strongest banks right here yes. in Nigeria and Africa, right? Yes. And of course, <laughs> for them to be a part of this, then you know that this isn't just another project. No. This is a major city coming to Ibadan, one of the best places to be in Nigeria. We pray, we see the diaspora uh, plans. Definitely. Let's see you, please. You they have our coming. contacts. <laughs> Let's see you. Let's quickly start because I can assure you uh, there will be no units left very soon. Of course. MKH City, the happy place, right here at the Academy Ibadan. Now, this project is bringing so much life to the city of Ibadan, known as the Brown Roof, but we are changing real estate right here in Ibadan. Now, we have lands and houses available from 20 million naira for the land. Yes, so you could get a plot of land for 20 million naira 
and you have the housing unit. The housing units consist of the three bedroom bungalows, masonettes, terrace duplexes, and fully detached duplex. The three bedroom bungalow going for 37 million naira, the two bedroom masonette for 42 million naira, the four bedroom terrace duplex, 65 million naira, and the four bedroom fully detached duplex with a private swimming pool in the market for 120 million naira. Look, all you can see today are just, you know, bricks, stones, sand, but I can guarantee you that in a few months from now, all you would be seeing is a blend of infrastructure, state-of-the-art infrastructure, real estate, luxury, everything together because you are getting the very best at MKH City. Ibadan is truly an amazing and peaceful place to live with incredible real estate opportunities, an amazing day and nightlife and so many fun activities and networking opportunities that the media never shows you. Now you've seen it. Ibadan is beyond the brown roof. Within this Asian city is a canvas for opportunity. Real estate right now is absolutely booming and you want to strategically position yourself now, early, before it's too late and everything just becomes so expensive. MKH City is the next big thing to happen right here. You've heard of Kolakwa Ishola, you've heard of all the other estates. MKH City is the banana island of Mbado. You want to be there today. We have houses, lands available, and we also have a flexible plan for you. All you have to do is just call the numbers on your screen today. Ibadan is a dream place to live. Thank you for joining me on this journey. See you in the next video.